Today, Waymo announced its plan to release the first fully autonomous vehicle service this year, just one day after Governor Doug Ducey suspended Uber's driverless cars. Reporter Emily Richardson has details and the public reaction to these announcements. Governor Ducey tweeted this morning that Arizona will hold companies accountable and take action against any that show they are not ready for prime time. It's going to cause more accidents. Like, it's bound to happen. Waymo released a live stream today announcing its plan to send fully autonomous cars onto Phoenix streets later this year. Now, we're going to launch our service, not in 2019 or 2020 or sometime after that, but this year, this year in 2018, starting in Phoenix, Arizona. Waymo's announcement comes less than 24 hours after Arizona Governor Doug Ducey announced he is suspending Uber from testing their cars in the Valley. A decision announced after dash cam footage from the car that hit and killed a pedestrian was released. In a letter he sent to the company, he says in part, I found the video to be disturbing and alarming, and it raises many questions about the ability of Uber to continue testing in Arizona. Uber responded, saying that they had suspended self-driving operations in all cities immediately following the accident and will continue to help with the investigation. Waymo addresses safety concerns surrounding autonomous vehicles, but is still confident their cars are ready to be completely driverless. Enrique Garcia, who bikes and drives in Tempe, says that he's excited for the potential of self-driving cars, but believes they are moving too fast. Obviously, you think it affected it in a positive way because people will use it and it's fun and new. But at the same time, someone's going to get hurt. The New York Times reports that leak data shows on average, Waymo vehicles travel 5,600 miles before driver intervention is needed compared to Uber's 13. In downtown Phoenix, Emily Richardson, Cronkite News.